All right, perfect. Okay. Hi, YouTube catters. What's going on? Hello, Twitch chat. We are currently, currently union level 30. And that means we are rank four in soul phase. And what we're going to be working on is leveling our data bank. Um, we're trying to go from 16 to 17 on our data bank. And I highly recommend once you hit rank 30 or while you're going through the story and you're taking some downtime or you're trying to hit those level thresholds to continue the story chapters to work on your data bank and level up your data bank as soon as humanly possible. Now you are locked out of data bank rank 15 until you hit this character level 30 world rank four. So don't worry too much about hitting this 15 mark just yet. If you haven't finished the story, finish that first of course. But once you hit this rank 15 in your data bank, level 15 in your data bank, you get the access to five star echoes. Now, as you can see here, it does drop at a 30% rate of five stars, 70% rate of four stars are your chances. It's nice that they tell us this little data bank info right here, but hey, I love this change. I love this so much. Add this to more games. Anyways, so why you want to get to rank 17 as fast as humanly possible. So as you see here, once you get to 17, the chance to become five star echoes to drop five star echoes turns into 50% versus 50% four star echoes. Now this is the highest rank. This is the highest possibility of getting those five star echoes until you get to 19. 19 and 20 is when they turn into an 80% drop rate chance, which is currently locked out of the game until you hit world rank five, I believe it is. Yeah, world rank five, meaning your union level is level 40. So don't worry about too much pushing to that 19 rank, thinking that you're going to get 80% drop rates. It's going to be a long EXP grind unless you are spending lots and lots of money on energy to uh, replenish your energy and keep farming various things. But try do try and get to 17 as fast as possible, as fast as you can. And how we do that, how the quickest way to do that, the easiest way to do that is going through, first of all, your milestones. As you can see, I haven't even finished my milestones yet. I'm still at six and I am at two of 10 on this stage. I don't know if this is the last stage yet. Uh, as you can see, I'm like, I'm carefully picking and choosing because I am free to play to choose my resources. We haven't quite leveled these up. We haven't quite filled all of these out just yet because I'm trying to decide what characters that I want to sink my resources into right now. But as you can see, from the, oh, sorry. As you can see from these milestones, once you do complete a milestone rank, you get a data experience increase. Usually it's like 100 data experience. It's a good, good chunk of numbers. Good chunk of experience from that. But how also you can increase your data experience is by filling out your echo gallery. What that is, is that you can see here, it will list all of the types of echoes available in the game and what you've collected them as. So as we're scrolling through here, you can see I have a lot of five star echoes that I've been farming since I've hit rank 30. But if you scroll down, these monsters, these echoes start to become purples. So every time you get a different quality of echo, you unlock a different quality echo, discover a different quality of echo. Whether it's the green two star rank, the blue three star rank, or the four um, four star purple rank, that is EXP to your data bank. So definitely go through, try and get everything to purple at least if you can. That is the fastest way you can go through the data bank. And the fastest way you can do this, the most efficient way you can do this, is they actually make it very nice. They make it very easy for you. If you go to one of the monsters, say, let's farm these Glacial Prisms real fast because we want so we want the five star echo for this Glacial Prism. You'll get 20 more EXP to our book if we get this. You go over here and behind my big fat ass, you won't see it, unfortunately. Here, I'll disappear for you. Magic trick. Boop. Behind my big fat ass, there's a little track button. This track button 
will open up your echo hunting log. Now from your echo hunting log, you can hit this detect button. And it, this detect button will automatically pull up the closest spawn for the monster that you are trying to track. And then, so we can go over here. Okay, so here's our spawn, as you can see. So if we go over here, kill these little shits real fast. So much fun. Into belly you go. go gremlin mode real fast on them. And now that we've killed them, if we go to our map, the map has auto-populated, auto-updated the next closest spawn for the same enemy type. So you can just go from spawn to spawn to spawn, farm out these echoes, farm out these monsters, get this experience to your data bank, and quickly speed run and speed level your data bank to level 17. So as you're going along and leveling up your data bank as well, You'll come across these monsters here that have a super saiyan aura going on what these monsters are is they are guaranteed echo drops the only issue with them while they're guaranteed is they won't necessarily be the highest rank echo you can get they won't be guaranteed five star they won't be guaranteed even guaranteed four star they have a chance of rolling even green echoes which is a little bit unfortunate, but at least it is a guaranteed echo nonetheless. So be on the lookout for these monsters that have the little Super Saiyan aura on them as well. But there's also another type of echo out in the field as well called Phantom Echo. Phantom Echoes are shiny versions of echoes that you'll find out in the real world. These have, certain, these have specific spawn points in the map and will only spawn once in an entire day cycle so the spawn refreshes but these also only have a small percent chance to farm they're not necessarily guaranteed to spawn i do not know if they are guaranteed echo drops though i haven't really tested this one the the only one that we found was this tortoise and when we killed it it was a five star tortoise but i don't know if it was guaranteed so do know that let me know down in the comments below as well for that what i've also discovered we're gonna put our theory crafting we're going to put our mid maxing hats on because my favorite thing to do in gotcha games is mid maxing and building characters and as you can see we are currently working on building our sanwa uh, we've already gotten one five star echo here for her i'll despair again boop as you can see I've already got one good five star echo right here in the auto puppet scout three costs glacier damage bonus attack resonance skill damage bonus crit rate heavy attack damage bonus resonance liberation damage bonus unfortunately this little deep don't ignore this little defense roll right here ignore the, the little defense roll right there does not exist but how you build your characters what the most optimal way to build your characters in terms of echoes is you want a four ah stop it you want a four cost echo to be your main echo or if you like the move set of a three cost echo it can also be that as well like really what is in your main slot is just basically what skill you would like the most and what uh, you fancy like the passive bonus of this we have a echo cost of 12 that we can stat our character with so you will always want at least one four cost echo then two three cost echoes and then your last two slots are going to be two one cost echoes. Now, how these echoes work and why you want four cost echoes and why you want this build is because how these echoes are statted main stat wise. Four cost echoes will always have a chance of rolling crit to damage or crit rate. They are the only cost echoes that can roll crit damage crit rate as a main stat and they will always have attack as their substat. Now, what we've recently discovered as well is just because they have a crit rate or crit damage main stat does not mean it's not like other gotcha games where that stat is closed off. You don't get to roll that stat in your substats. In this game, when you roll your echoes, they have a chance of getting any substat so as you can see here with this four cost that we have right now, let me disappear again. Boop. 
we have crit damage attack as the main stat but also down here it's rolled attack crit rate and crit damage as substats so you can double up on crit damage i haven't seen any triple ups or anything like that so let me know down in the comments if that is the case as well we're still figuring things out as we go but like i said the four cost echoes are the only echoes that can roll crit damage crit rate as a main substat now for the three cost echoes what makes them so special is they have the chance to roll your elemental damage bonus as you can see this one right here as glacio damage bonus with attack substat and that's why you want your three cost echoes as you want for sanwa for example since she is a glacio dps character you want your glacio damage bonus on both of the main stats of your three costs for instance this thing this little piece of shit right here it rolled the glacio sonata effect um, but it rolled havoc damage bonus on its main stat instead of glacio damage bonus now that does bring me to another thing is the sonata effect on the echoes are not always guaranteed each echo has a chance each echo can slot into different sonata effects so if you actually go to the databank it'll tell you uh, these are the different various stat relic set bonuses that you can possibly have we have our two piece glacio damage set uh two piece set bonus for glacio damage five piece gl set bonus can increase our glacio damage after doing base attack heavy attack this, this is our set bonuses all these monsters here that it shows can have the potential of rolling this set bonus if we go over here to our echo gallery and we look up let's say um auto puppet scout right here say we want to farm this auto puppet scout we can actually see my fat ass behind me again that the auto puppet scout has a chance of both rolling the glacio sonata effect and the spectro sonata effect so you can actually farm this for both it's not guaranteed that it'll be glacio it's not guaranteed that it'll be the sonata, sonata effect it'll always be one uh, when you get to the one cost echoes common class echoes they have a chance of rolling three different sonata all right Back to the stats, back to the stats. Sorry, sorry. It's a small little tangent. You want to get these three cost echoes because they roll your elemental damage bonus. And of course they can roll crit rate, crit damage. Um, this one rolled resonant skill damage bonus, resonant liberation bonus, heavy attack damage bonus, like all really good stats for Sanwa. So I'm happy with this one. And then we get to our one cost echoes. Now the one cost echoes will always roll the main stats the bottom one will always be hp flat hp no matter what you can't change that but the top one has a chance of being hp percentage defense percentage or attack percentage so let's see like this saber boar has attack hp this tortoise has defense hp uh this rose shroom has hp hp also before i forget there is a mechanic called data merging. You can just auto select or you can just select your useless echoes, your trash echoes, the ones you don't want anymore. And it merges them together to create more echoes. Now, the data merging is also based off of your data bank EXP. The rarity of the new echo is subject to your data bank level. It is not determined by the rarity of the merged echoes. So I do not recommend data merging your echoes until you get to data bank level 17 for that 50% uh, five star rate for your echoes as well. And that way you will also get a nice little collection to constantly spam through and spin that little gotcha wheel and spin that little gamba wheel. Now, if you were thinking about using multiplayer to help farm your data bank, for those who want to play with their friends, co-op with their friends. Unfortunately, when you do multiplayer, it considers the lowest data bank level in your party. So for instance, if I'm at data bank level 16 and I was to join someone who has a data bank level 10, it would consider that party as data bank level 10. So unfortunately you would not be getting five star echoes. Um, but yeah, so. I don't know how to end this video. Fuck! <laughs> I didn't think about this. 
So yeah, once you get to Union level 30, if you haven't already, you want to focus on completing your milestone stages. This is the fastest way to get your data bank EXP to 15 and then go through this tracking process that I just showed you. Go through each of your lists, find the ones that are your lowest. You want to get all these to four as possible. If you're leveling your guidebook or your milestones, you don't have to get all of them to four like I did. But then after that, you're going to go through and probably the easiest ones to start off with start off with your common classes. Um, they have the most com of course, they have the most spawns across the map. Go to your track, detect, and then just go from spawn to spawn to spawn and start murdering them left, right and center for your chance at dropping the uh, five star echoes. So if this video was helpful for you as well, please be sure to join me at twitch.tv slash grinning neko or like and subscribe this video uh, so others might see it leave a comment down below how is your databank level databank rank going what characters are you currently building on what characters would you like to see me do a guide in the future for anyways i gotta wrap this video up and i gotta still keep farming my echoes these small little marmots are going to murder themselves so y'all have a fantastic day peace